And welcome to News Extra, and we're closing in on the beginning of the school year, and one of the annual traditions is the Northfield Church Back to School Bash that takes place August 11th this year from 6 to 8 p.m., and I have Associate Pastor Holly Baker with me. Thank you very much for joining us Yes, today. it's great to be here. It has to be pretty much of a, a daunting undertaking, I can imagine, getting everything together for an event such as this. Explain how that how that works. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty large event and I love putting on big events and so uh, just organizing and planning lots of to-do lists, uh, but we have lots of great things in store this year. Uh, explain uh, some of the things that people will uh, encounter when they, when they come out. Yeah, it's a big family fun event. Of course, we give out our free backpacks and school supplies, but we like to make it a family event for everybody. So we have like bounce houses, carnival games, free Arby's dinners, live music, a bunch of booths from some area businesses set up, and a bunch of snacks that the kids can get. So it's a great fun event for families. Now, um, this year, and, and as has happened, I suppose, in previous years, there's been some pre-registration that's been asked uh, in advance, uh, specifically through Eventbrite, as I understand it. Yes. Um, you know, for the for the backpacks, um, I understand you've already got those already reserved? Yes, we have those all reserved. Yeah, they had to go online <laughs> and register for them, and the first day, there's such a great need, they were all called for the first day. But we still encourage people to come out, because sometimes we have people that are no-shows, and so there's still some backpacks and school supplies at the end of the night that people can still get. Okay, and how many backpacks total are we talking about? We have 500 this year. Oh wow, that's uh, not a small number of backpacks <laughs> that are going to be going out through the event. Are there, are there other aspects that people also need to uh, register for as well? Uh, no, but they do need to come to the registration tables at the event and get their free tickets for their free Arby's dinners, some free snacks, things like that. We also have free back to school haircuts for the children, and it's just first come, first serve in a line. Oh, yeah, a real busy line for yes. the Lord. Completely full, I'm sure, for two hours. Yes, it is. Co coming up on August 11th. And there's a little bit more to the Back to School Bash at the Northfield Church that we'll talk about in just a moment when we come back on News Extra. And we're back on News Extra, and I have Associate Pastor Holly Baker here from Northfield Church. We're talking about the annual Back to School Bash that's coming up August 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the church in Gehring. Holly, it, it, something like this just doesn't happen all of a sudden. It, I can imagine it takes quite a bit of volunteer work to put together the backpacks and, and things such as that. You know, How much background work do you have to do to put on an event like this? Yes, I've been working for several months to put it on. That's my, my main job for the summer at work. But we've had lots of volunteers from our church uh, show up to the offices every day and our church volunteers all came together and packed all the backpacks. We had a big packing party in our gym mm -hmm. and uh, just getting everything ready and we're excited about it. And I can imagine that you've, you've had to reach out to, uh, to uh, other entities perhaps to you know, make donations to fill those backpacks and things such as that as well, correct? Yes. Uh, who do you tend to uh, generally work with to get those things coordinated? Well, every year we apply for the Red Fern uh, Grant Foundation, and so they're one of our biggest contributors that we get a grant for to help purchase the backpacks and the school supplies. So they're a huge blessing to us. Yeah, very much so, very much so. Now, um, I do understand that there is a change this year from previous years in that um, there won't be a, a, a food giveaway Correct. going along with. Uh, explain the rationale behind making that, needing to make that change. Uh, this year basically it boiled down to finances. Okay. It's a big undertaking financially to uh, get that many groceries. Yeah. And uh, so this year we still wanted to have the event and still bless our community in a big way. So still putting on everything else like usual, just not having that one aspect of it. Okay, just a slight change, but certainly a whole lot of things going on at the Back to School Bash. And of course, again, the, um, the backpacks already spoken for generally. But uh, if you haven't, if, if somebody hasn't registered their children to get a backpack, they should still show up anyway. Oh, absolutely. They can come and enjoy all the other festivities, all the free food and fun and haircuts, and uh, they can stay to the end, and we might have some left to bless them with. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. That's the Back to School Bash coming up at the Northfield Church in Gehring, August 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the evening. Holly, thank you very much for joining us on News yes. Extra today. Yes, been great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.